Hello everyone! We're happy to announce that we're ready to launch step two of Zatka e-invoicing regulation. We have worked on this solution with the help of SMAC Solutions in Saudi Arabia. To get yourself ready to use the solution, you need to make sure that your database is hosted on v15 or v16. If your database was on an older version, just make sure you upgrade it on time for you to be able to use the feature. The step 2 e-invoicing solution is basically integrating your Udo invoices with your Fatura platform. In order to send invoices, you will have to have access to Fatura portal. Your username and password are required at this stage, as well as the phone number that's going to receive the OTP from Fatura when you try to log in. After you log in Fatura platform, just make sure to activate the simulation mode. The simulation mode will give you the ability to test invoices without being legally liable. After activating the simulation mode on Fatura portal, you can go ahead and start onboarding a new device. By onboarding a new device, you are linking a journal or a database to the Fatura portal. When you onboard a new device, you will get an OTP that you will have to use later on in Udo when you onboard a certain journal. The first step of your Udo database setup would be to install the required applications. Afterwards, it's very important to fill all of the company information that you need. For example, your full address is required. Every single field in your address is required to be there on the database. As for your contacts, it's very important to make sure that the company customers that you have are set up correctly and their full address is filled. Choosing the correct invoice layout is very important. That's why you can edit that from the settings page. There's a section to configure your document layout. From there, you can edit the header, the footer, you can add information about your company, such as your bank account or any other piece of information you would like to present. The first step in establishing the connection or the integration between your Udo database and Fatura portal would be to go to the settings page of the accounting application and activate the Zatka integration. From the activation uh, option, you will be able to select the mode that you would like to use in your database. I would advise you to use the simulation portal or the pre-production option in order to test some invoices first. The next step would be for you to set up all of your sales type journals on Udo. So I would go to each journal, I would assign a serial number of my choosing, and then I will be able to onboard that journal. The onboard journal option will ask you for an OTP. This OTP, you will be able to get it from Fatura portal when you add a new device. The best way for you to test thoroughly is to test your real invoices and send them to simulation portal. That way, your full invoicing cycle will be tested on simulation portal and you shouldn't have any issues. When you confirm an invoice on Udo, Udo will give you the option to process the invoice now. If you use that invoice, the invoice will be automatically sent at that right moment to Fatura portal. In case you do not choose that option, Udo will send all of the invoices that were not sent to Fatura portal at the end of each day. Always be on top of your testing results by checking the statistics option from Fatura portal. This will help you know which invoices have been accepted, which invoices were rejected and which ones came back with a warning. After being done with your testing, you are now ready to move to Live Fatura Portal. You can do that by going to the settings page on the accounting application and changing the mode on the Zatka integration option from simulation or sandbox to Live Fatura. 
After changing the mood to life fatura, don't forget to onboard every single sales type journal that you have on your database to a new device on Fatura portal, the life section. Now we will move on to the special use cases section. The first use case would be to cover the sales happening from point of sale application. The first step I would make is to go to the invoicing application, configurations, and journals. In the journals, I want to make sure that my sales type journal is connected to Zatka Fatura portal and it's well onboarded. The next step would be for me to go to point of sale application and make sure that my point of sale is connected to that journal. When I create a new session, I would follow the standard Odoo workflow for point of sale. So the first step would be to select a product that the customer would like to buy. The next step would be for me to create the customer. So I can create the customer on the spot. So let's say the customer name is Ahmed and he's in Saudi Arabia. After saving, I can set the customer and continue with the sale. So let's say that he paid through bank and then I would validate. You will notice that the invoice button is always clicked. So you are always invoicing all of your point of sale orders. After validating, you will notice that the invoice number is, uh, it's number seven. So if I close and I go to my invoices, I will find the invoice. For this invoice, I can either click on retry or process now, or I can leave Udo to send it at the end of the day. For this use case, we will use the uh, sandbox tool to validate our invoices. So first step would be to go to the invoicing application. After creating an invoice on Udo, what I would do is I would use the action button to download the XML file. The XML file to be generated, I will save it on my desktop and I will go to zatka.gov.sa. On the website, I will go to e-invoicing section. Then I would go to system developers, e-invoicing developer portal. Now that I'm redirected to sandbox uh, platform, I will click on the web-based validator for non-technical users. Scroll down to access the web-based validator without a development environment. Accept the terms and conditions and download the XML file. Once you download the XML file, Sandbox portal will give you the results of your invoice. In this use case, we will go to the taxes and we will check on the taxes uh, that have a 0% amount. For these taxes, it's very important to make sure that we have a reason specified. In case we have a lot of uh, circumstances where we will use the 0% tax, we can duplicate this tax and use each tax with a specific reason. In that case, just make sure that you keep the tax grids in order to make sure that your tax report is always correct. In case of uh, retention taxes, just make sure that you check this checkbox. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.